at 157. 20th ranked John Van Brill goes for the Scarlet Knights, the redshirt junior. 15 and eight on the year. Going up against the senior Jake Short for the Gophers at 10 and nine. And Van Brill should be favored in this one. Rutgers could sure use a victory as they're down 14 to three. They had a big win by DeLuca to close out the first half. Here we go. Van Brill, as we said, ranked 20th in the nation at 157 pounds. And John Van Brill is another one of those New Jersey natives that you'll see in this team. Born and raised in South Jersey. South Jersey wrestler, came here to Rutgers, because, you know, Jersey is, they're his home, and that's where he wants to wrestle, that's what he wants to represent. Now out of Clearview High School down there, had 98 pins in his career for one of the great wrestling programs in the state. Jake Short, by the way, out of Inner Grove Heights, Minnesota. Now I talked to John Van Brill from Rutgers after the Penn State match here at the Rack, and we talked about how the fact that he's a scrambler, how he's comfortable in a scramble. So again, he's another wrestler where you can expect a lot of rolling, a lot of throws, a lot of tr big moves being put in there because that's where he's comfortable. He's not afraid to roll around, he's not afraid to move, and he's the type where he's going to continue to roll and he's going to continue to scramble until he feels that he's in a position where he can take control and he can become offensive. So, when, again, when, just like I mentioned with his brother, Mikey Van Brill, when you see them rolling, when you see them scrambling and going for some moves, th that's where they're comfortable at. Now, the crowd was real, at, real loud after that, that last win from DeLuca, but they've settled back in their seats after intermission. Not hearing much from them right now. Well, they're digesting their hot dogs. And Popcorn, whatever. Hot dog sounds pretty good right now. <laughs> yeah, they're waiting for Van Brill to give them something to get excited about. Absolutely. A minute 15 remaining here in period one. Pretty slow start to this match as well. But Jake Short able to get the single leg, looking, looking to get Van Brill on the mat right now. And he's looking like he's trying to lock up the cradle, but he let go of that and went to the takedown to secure two points. Short gets the first two points here of this match. Again, you see Short very, being very aggressive and very offensive. He's working to get Van Brill on his back. He's looking for those moves. I saw him looking for a cradle a few times right there. He's looking to get him on his back. He wants to get some near fall points in. Van Brill's working up from his base, working to get on his feet, looking for the escape, but Short gets him back down to the mat. Riding time moving up for Short right now, too, already at 40 seconds. 20 seconds left here in period one. Ref has not called the escape yet because it looked like Van Brill was trying to headhunt, so he wasn't, he wasn't neutral in a neutral position yet. Stall warning issued, and period one now even, comes to an end. Now, even though Van Brill was able to work to his feet, there wasn't neutral position there, so the ref did not award him the one point. He was looking like a, he was going for a head hunt. He was looking for some type of reversal, but he wasn't able to complete it. And because of that, he didn't get in a fully neutral position. Actually, he did. He did award him for a neutral position there at the end. Yeah, two nothing to score. Minute. 50 left here in period two. Minnesota already with a 14 to three lead overall. Stalemate. Stalemate is called. Again, short with the leg, but there's no control here, so ref hasn't awarded any points here. And there, like we see there, there's where I mentioned those big throws, those big rolls, these big scrambles. 
This is where Van Bro's comfortable. These are the positions that he likes to be in. Potentially dangerous position. Looked like Van Bro was trying to get over top of his body there, but Short was hanging on to that ankle, which puts the knee in a, in a bad spot. So the ref wasn't going to let him go completely over the body as Short was holding onto his ankle because he knows that that puts his knee in a bad spot. Short. And Short. Yeah, Short with two more points. Yeah, quick takedown there. Was able to spin, a, spin behind real quick for the two. Gina, he also has riding time now at a minute 15. Yeah, he's doing a great job riding on top. Like we mentioned, Lou, they're being very offensive. They're being very aggressive. Riding out, getting, staying on top, and getting this riding time has been a huge, a huge advantage for Minnesota tonight. There's a point for Van Brill on the escape. He's down four to one. 15 seconds left. And stalemate called with 6.9 remaining here in period two. So we go to the third and final period. And right now, Jake Short up four to one with a minute 33 of riding time as well. So Van Brill is going to have to put the pedal to the metal here in this third and final period. Absolutely. And like we mentioned, Van Brill was most likely to be favored in this match, but Short has, has been holding his own, and he's been doing a great job keeping, the, keeping his points above Van Brill's tonight. And, and again, like we mentioned, riding time is in his favor with a minute and 20 seconds. So it's moving down right now with Van Brill on top, but if he can get that escape within another 15 seconds, the riding time is going to stay in his favor. Minute 35 left in the third period. Van Brill looks like he's trying to throw the boot and trying to get his legs locked in here, but not quite, not quite getting it in there yet. Now riding time is down to 47 seconds for sure. So Van Brill was able to ride him out on time and make riding time not a factor. Down to one minute left here in this third and final period. Now you hear the fans looking for a stall call on Short, who's on bottom right now, but it looks like he's trying to make his way to a base and work his way up. So I don't think the ref is going to go ahead and give that stall call while he's on his knees. If he was flat on his stomach, then the ref would have went ahead and gave him the stall call. But because he was on a base, because he was on his knees, and potentially working his way up for the escape, the ref's not going to call the stall there. Now Vimbro's getting both legs locked in. Thirty-five seconds left. Now the ref went ahead and gave him that saw call because he doesn't feel like he's doing enough on bottle. He feels like he needs to be working his way up. He feels like Van Bro's doing all the movement on top. So he went ahead and awarded that stall call. So he gets the point. It's four to two. But He's down by two. He still needs to pull something out here over the next 15 seconds to tie this match up. And he's going to go ahead and stay in the stall position because if he gets one more stall, all he's giving up is another point. And there he goes, gives up one more point, but with two seconds left, he's, he was able to give up that one point. Four to three, and that's it. Quiet crowd here at the rack. Jake Short defeats John Van Brill four to three.